Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the last lecture we discussed about what is Chrome for testing browser, why it was introduced, how to manually download the Chrome driver and exe and how to launch the application using the Chrome for testing. Okay, so now moving on to the much awaited release of Selenium that is Selenium 4.11. So this is now going to provide or has provided support for testing against a specific Chrome for testing browser. So Chrome for testing browser started from Chrome 113. So in order to run it on the specific browser, one uh, existing parameter is used, browser version. Uh, so yeah, let us now jump to the flow post of Selenium uh, where it got released. So if you notice this Selenium 4.11.0 is released okay, and they have added a few highlights Chrome Dev Tool support is now with V113, version 113 I mean version 114 and version 115 right. Firefill, Firefox still uses V85. Support for Chrome for testing. If you observe Chrome for testing support through Selenium Manager has been added now okay. So you can go to this uh, blog post if you want to read about it i'll be sharing this particular link in the description selenium manager now locates the browser binary driver path on the configure check for the incompatible so i'll be discussing it uh, in the in the upcoming uh, like like during later discussion today so now i'm going to what selenium manager has brought in the changes so selenium manager is the main component where they made this change to like provide support for Chrome for testing. So <clears throat> if you look at it, how the Selenium manager works, it checks for the first installed Google Chrome versions using this shell script Google Chrome hyphen hyphen version. Then it discover the this uh, driver and it, it then download it. And then after we are able to run it. So uh, what happens is if, uh, for example, once it is downloaded, we don't need to download it again for the next run okay so now if you observe entering chrome for testing so the chrome team has now provided support for cft so what is the difference between chrome for testing and normal browser chrome is a evergreen meaning it will automatically upgrade and silently it will upgrade to the next stable version when available on the other hand cft is not evergreen which means if we want to for example run to a particular browser we want to run the testing on a particular browser to get the consistent results then this is what is introduced that is why it is called cft uh, is not evergreen yeah, and 4.11 is released for ruby and java so far uh, soon we are we will expect for rest of the languages such as c sharp okay so now for example if uh, in your system so by default, let, let us now discuss like how Selenium Manager works. Selenium Manager download the dependency uh, like driver exe at this particular location, right? But now as uh, we have CFT, right? So it won't only download the driver, but it will download the, um, what I can say, binary as well. So this is the location, right? Where they automatically download. So I have cleared it out, right? If you notice and uh, now i'm navigating to 4.11 uh, this uh, selenium intellij i mean right so i have credited to 4.11.0 right if you see uh, the dependency is selenium 4.11 and this is the, like in uh, transitive dependency of it right so the support is now added right and now i'm going to show you what uh, what is the change that we need to bring in so first of all i am commenting this particular line so in this case what is going to happen as this is something related to selenium for this is some uh, line i needed to use so don't worry about line number 15 okay so in this case what is going to happen in this case it won't run on the chrome for testing because in my system the chrome version installed is chrome 115 okay so in case if something is already installed right and then by default what it will do it will run on the specific one on that particular version only so i'm now running it so if you will observe 
the icon of this and this both are same right so this is a normal browser if i now go to cache i'll observe it has only downloaded the driver in this case if you observe from here it has already downloaded the driver so this is how we can use for the latest so this blocker is now unblocked now what i can do for example if i want to run it on let us say 114 right so we can use stable also stable will always stable will download the latest version whichever is the stable version one so as like normal browser so i'm like deleting it once more and running it with stable now so this is one extra parameter that we need to add now to provide a support to run on a specific browser version okay so if you observe it again launched on 115 because this is the stable version available on that particular location so now cell name manager has internally taken care to download it from the latest endpoint provided by chrome driver so apart from it what i can do so if you observe as this was a stable and driver browser was already installed so it didn't download the uh, binary of chrome but now i am moving it to 114 because i want to run my test cases or i want to stick my test cases to 114 or 114 only so what it will do it will now download 114 let us see and you will observe this is chrome for testing right so it will open in a, in a different window too so i'll just show you so it is taking time as compared to previous time so if you observe this is the icon right icon has been changed right now i'm moving to the cache right if you see uh, it uh, downloaded 114 and uh, if i go one step back then one second yeah if you will observe it has downloaded the browser as well for browser binary for 114 as well right so it on the on one hand it added a driver and on the other hand it added like binary of chrome as well so this is one thing and apart from this uh, selenium has introduced these many options like these many changes so i'll be sharing this particular list with you so yeah uh, so yeah now we are unblocked and we can continue to enjoy using selenium 4 with latest version of chrome and we can run out run it on the specific versions as well so yeah that is it from that is it for now and uh, i'll be posting future videos if you like my channel please do share and subscribe and thank you